Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Berry Views today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for spending a little time with this old man today. Today's beer comes from Fry Brewing Company. They're out in California. This is their well. That was fun, said nobody. And they're referring to 2020. And I think most people would agree to that. 2020 was uh, not fun at all. Uh, so, uh, just want to thank Brian and Krista for sending me uh, their beers. These guys do it right uh, as far as the beer in the can and the information on the can uh, they give you the hops the hops are Rewaka, Strata, Simcoe, and the Monster Pale Oats and Kit C-H-I-T it's an 8.2 percenter uh, so they're telling you the malts and the hops uh, and it's got a description here on the back telling you about the beer and this was put in the can on 12 18 of 20 and they do this one has a heat shrunk label on it uh, plain Jane silver can so we got all the information here we got the hops we got the malts we got the ABV we got the date uh, so that's how it should be even the IBUs it says it's 33 IBUs so they're giving you all the information there I wish all the breweries would do that and these guys do that uh, so uh, uh, if you're out in the San Diego area, stop by and see Brian and Krista. Uh, pick up you something tasty. Uh, you're not going to get anything that's not tasty. I can pretty much guarantee that. Uh, everything that they have sent to me has been really tasty. And I like how all the information they give us on the can. Uh, in the commercial description on the can and what Untapped's got to say, to say this has been one for the books would be putting it lightly. This beer features a very exciting combination of Rewaka Strata and a touch of Semco for good measure. We get layered notes of passion fruit, grapefruit, tropical fruit with dank undertones and one of our most saturated flavor profiles to date. We greatly look forward to starting a new in 2021 and hope you will enjoy this beer as the ball drops as much as we will so yeah and again like yesterday's beer uh, wishing everybody uh, a very safe and healthy 2021 it's not starting off that way with COVID running rampant uh, but take care of yourselves let's get on with this beer we've got the ABV we've got the IV views we've got the commercial description we've got everything we need to talk about so let's stop talking and start pouring A little bit of splash here. Let me wipe that off. And let's get into the glass. Very hazy coming out of the can. It looks like a New England style beer to me. And we'll do the little swirly swirl. Right at two fingers of head, guys. That looks like a New England style IPA, an Imperial IPA, coming in at 8.2%. Looks like orange juice in the glass. Very cloudy, very hazy. Good looking beer, though. To the nose we go. Oh, yeah. Very nice hot profile. I am getting a little bit of pine and grapefruit, tropical fruit notes, maybe some passion fruit, like they said. A little on the dank side. Smells awesome. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brian and Krista. Thank you very, very much. Cheers. Hopefully, 2021 is a very prosperous year for Ferrari. Very tasty. Very tasty. Now the hop notes are just not off the chain like a lot of the beers in the New England style are, but a nice balanced beer. 
Alcohol is well hidden for an 8.2 percenter. Very smooth for that big of an ABV beer. Very nice. The biggest thing that sticks out to me is how balanced the beer is. Not one thing is overpowering. The hops aren't overpowering the malts. Like I said, the hops are not off the chain <laughs> like a lot of the, the New England style beers, but very tasty beer. Very nice. Back end pour going in. And we got a little aggressive on that. But that brought the head all the way up to the rim of the glass. That looks like a glass of orange juice yeah, without the head there, though. I mean, if you, if you wasn't looking at the head, uh, you'd say, hmm, that does look like orange juice. Wow. Tasty beer. Let's go sip on it. I'll be right back. Hey, right, guys, I'm back. Very nice lacing. Slept on the glass. Very tasty beer in the glass. If you're expecting some off the chain, Hop aroma and taste, uh, not quite there. But a good, well balanced Imperial or double IPA. Very smooth, very easy drinking. Uh, low IBUs for an 8.2%. Very tasty. Uh, if you're in the San Diego area, you can get their beers. Pick up something. I'm sure you'll find something that you'll like. I would buy this beer if I could get it here, guys. Very, very tasty to me. Delicious beer. I don't know. Awesome lacing on the glass. I tell you, you got a really good, well made beer when you see that kind of lacing left on the glass. Delicious, very tasty. Thanks again, Brian and Cresta. I do appreciate it. Beer Advocate doesn't have any reviews. Imagine that. They don't have a grade. Nobody's even commented on this beer. What's up with that? Uh, over to uh, Untap, 148 people have commented on it and they have it at 3.92. I think it's a little better than that. Uh, I'm going to give it a, uh, a minus. 90 for me. Uh, tasty beer. Very tasty. So, uh, with that being said, if you've had, well, that was fun, said nobody for about 2020. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.